Hello everyone and a really warm welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm very excited to share another great selection of pieces from the latest collection that Cezanne has launched on the 1st of October. So these are new, all new pieces from the October edition. For each piece I've chosen, I'm going to share two or three different outfit ideas throughout this video. And as always, I will also share many style tips to make these outfits feel even more elegant, elevated and chic. So let's start with skirts. As I just focused on my video about uh, fashion trends for this fall 2023, the pencil skirt that has long been associated with professional office attire is back, but now with a modern twist that makes it perfect for every occasion. This elegant design is really flattering on almost every body shape. Cezanne, of course, embraced the trend and launched some very good examples of this design. And today I'm, I have two pencil skirts to review for you. And the first one is the Musetta skirt in black. It's made mostly in wool and lined with the viscose fabric. The wool, the, this fabric is incredibly uh, soft, not rigid, having, however, a nice structure. So really good quality. It's a straight design with a slit at the back. It's size wise. On the website, it says if you are between sizes, you should size down. I have to disagree as I stay true to my size, European 38 US 6, and it's perfect. The pencil skirt emphasizes our waistline and hips. And we could accentuate that even more by adding a belt like I did here. You could style it with ankle socks and loafers for a bit of a trendy, cooler uh, look like they did on the website, or keep it really elegant, classy, and sophisticated like I'm doing in this first outfit idea. This is a perfect classic look if you work on the corporate environment or even to a meeting. For the second outfit, I styled this gorgeous skirt with a white button shirt. But this time, I opted for a relaxed and looser fit. I tucked it at the front and leave it loose at the back. I also rolled up the sleeves. This outfit is elegant and chic, yet with a more modern take. All these styling details that I did make this overall look updated. So, you have two similar outfits, but with two completely different styles. Both are chic and elegant, the first more classic, and the second with a more trendy vibe. Another sophisticated modern outfit is combining this pencil skirt with a cashmere sweater and a pair of slingbacks. The belt with gold buckle will be the perfect finishing point. Later in this video, I will share three more looks with this skirt, a more casual one and two other evening outfits. So you have a few different outfit ideas and you can confirm this is a really versatile skirt. Let's move on. And this is the Eluan pencil skirt. This one is made in 100% virgin wool and it is also lined with a viscose fabric. Again, a soft fabric. It has uh, some structure of the, the wool itself, but since it's lined, it's not itchy on our body. So it's a straight shape with these cutouts at front and also at the back. It has also a slit, but this time at the front. I just love this design. About the same length as the Mosetta skirt. And as for sizing, I did size up to a European 40 or US 8, as the website says you should size up. And I'm glad I did it because it fits really well. Okay, in this first outfit, I've paired it with a blue crisp cotton button shirt and opted for a pair of knee high boots in a similar color of the skirt, as I already have the contrast of the blue. This look is chic, and elevated as the quality of this skirt is second to none. In this second outfit idea, I'm doing a tonal outfit with this beige structure button shirt, 
One thing that I love is wearing a pair of tights, opaque or semi-opaque, in a similar shade of my bottom piece or the shoes. By the way, I buy all my stockings from Calcedonia. I have them, some from more than 10 years ago, and the quality is just amazing. This season, they've launched some new beautiful colors that I'm adding to my collection for sure. I will leave the links to all these pieces, including the tights, in the description box below, as always. For this next outfit, I'm wearing a wool tank top and my Betty cardigan. I opted to tuck it into the skirt and leave it unbuttoned to create a vertical line that allows to elongate my figure. I'm wearing the Adele boots, but I could have gone for a pair of nude slingbacks or even Mary Janes. So next on the rail, we have the Giacomo trousers that I'm wearing right now in this mottled grey. They're made in a blend of wool and recycled polyester. These trousers have a slightly lower waist, but they are not low waist at all. About the fabric, it is not itchy. It's really comfortable on the skin. They are not lined, but they are pretty comfortable. I went for my usual size, and I may say they fit me just fine at the waist. I'd say it fits beautiful also through my thighs and hips, and it has a nice relaxed fit and wide legs. They are a perfect pair of classic trousers. They are quite long. I'm five foot seven for reference, and I found it, uh, um, I could get away with wearing sneakers, but they will touch the floor. But if I wear them with a mid kitten heel, five centimeters, I think it's just perfect for my height. I do love the versatility of these trousers. Take them from workwear to evening wear to casual wear. I dress them down with a wool cashmere tank top and a cashmere sweater over my shoulders. A pair of sneakers to keep it casual. I opted for a thin belt instead of a large one. These trousers aren't high, too high-waisted, and so they don't finish on my smallest part. A wider belt would make my waist appear wider, and this is a style trick you should take into consideration. So, wide belts, usually and visually, make our waists look wider, and thin, a thin belt will make our waistlines look thinner. I also paired it with a white button shirt. This is the tomboy shirt, and I love how that looks. But to make this outfit more feminine, since we have two masculine pieces, I suggest you open the front buttons until a place you feel comfortable, roll up the sleeves, and accessorize the look with statement earrings or a nice necklace. Also, opt for a pair of low mid heel sling bags to balance out the masculine feminine. I do love the feminine and masculine contrast there. It's understated elegance. Yes. So, Cezanne does really have a good collection of great bodysuits with different shapes, and this is the Isabella bodysuit made in 100% merino wool. It's a knitted fabric and so, so soft. I also have it in the ecru color, and I love it. It's so much that I ordered the black one. So I think these kind of bodysuits are really easy to wear and appropriate for several occasions. So here I've styled it with my Giacomo gray trousers and you could pop a blazer over the shoulders as well if you want. A pair of heels and statement jewelry completes this evening outfit. I just think this bodysuit is a really good piece to have in your wardrobe. Uh, Size-wise, I size down to a small, and it's a perfect. French statement piece is undoubtedly a striped jumper or cardigan. And almost all designers showed us this iconic piece on the catwalks this season. So I ordered two striped pieces, as one can never have too many striped knits. And let's start with the Wilson cardigan that I'm wearing right now. It's in this navy and um, natural stripes. It's made in a blend of cotton and wool. So soft, incredibly soft, just perfect. 
if you have sensitive skin. I'm wearing on my bare skin and it has zero hitch. I went for size medium as I wanted uh, to be uh, oversized. It has these tortoiseshell big buttons. It's that knitwear piece that I'll have to dress down some tailored trousers, for instance. So in this first look, I styled the Wilson cardigan with my new Theophil trousers, also from Cezanne. For footwear, I'm wearing a pair of Henkel boots in the same color of the trousers. And this is a look you could wear to have lunch with your girlfriends. On the other hand, if one needs to do a lot of walking, it's just the case of changing the boots for a pair of sneakers or even loafers. So, and this is the Bastien jumper with navy and natural stripes. This one is made in 100% incredibly soft merino wool. This seems just another striped jumper. But if you look closely, you'll see these beautiful details like this network all along the collar, the cuffs, and also at the bottom. These details just elevate any piece of clothing. This jumper is incredibly versatile, and in this first outfit, I'm styling it with a pair of off-white denim jeans, a white belt and a pair of sneakers to keep it casual and comfortable. This is my weekend uniform for the fall season. It's a smart, casual look, but with a hint of sophistication. I decided to elevate this jumper and style it with my navy satin midi skirt. To make my outfit more modern, I'm wearing a pair of semi-opaque navy tights from Calcedonia with my Cahel black patent leather shoes. This is a combination very on trend and I just love it. But you could just go for a pair of loafers, knee-high boots or even sneakers. I did another outfit with the Bastian jumper and this is the expected look, pairing it with a simple pair of straight fit denim jeans. But to elevate this outfit a little bit, I went for my Chanel-inspired two-tone slingbacks in nude and black. These shoes will make, will make my legs look more sleek, and the overall look of this outfit will be more elegant and with this chic Parisian style twist. This is the most French of the three outfits. And that's what you get with Cezanne. A bit of a mixture of those on-trend pieces, but with a sprinkle of Parisian magic. And yet, they're all wardrobe basics. Okay, now we're moving on to a really sophisticated, elegant two-piece set with these trousers and button shirt. You should never underestimate the power of a great set. I think Cezanne mastered the art of sophistication with this set, which I'm absolutely obsessed with. So, this matching set is made in 100% viscose in this gorgeous shade of vanilla. I feel like if I were to choose my ideal evening outfit, it will be something like this. Very loose, very comfortable, very easy to wear, either the two pieces together or just the shirt with a pair of denim, denim jeans and heels or even the trousers with a nice top. They incre it's incredibly comfortable and it feels so chic. It's still classic, but the overall look worn together with the slightly oversized button shirt turns this set into something fresh and modern. I just love both of the pieces together, but also separately. I think these trousers look so nice with a chunky knit for a more casual attire like I did here. And this is for me the outfit of election for a Sunday meal with the family. This will be perfect for Christmas meals inside our homes with our family. Such nice and cozy moments. And then this blouse is also really easy to wear with every piece in my wardrobe. We are nearing the end of today's video, so I would like to ask you, please go ahead and take a moment, like this video, share this video, Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Next up in today's uh, Cezanne haul, I have an accessory and a really rather beautiful one too. This is the Homi bag. I was very excited when the bag arrived as I opted for this rosewood color and I don't, uh, didn't know how it, would, uh, it will 
look like um, in person, in real life. And I may say it's just the perfect shade of pink. It's almost a brownish pink. Depending on the light, it looks more pink or more brown. It's really gorgeous shade and so easy to style with my shoe collection and also my wardrobe pieces. When I decided to go for the Bois de Rose or Rosewood color, I had in mind the Paola Babis in um, Burgundy. That they have just arrived and oh my God, they are incredibly beautiful, beautiful color. Uh, I just I already have the Paola Babis in nude patent leather and these are the burgundy ones that I just love. Can you imagine this is the perfect combo to accessorize all my outfits for the season ahead. I'm just incredibly happy with these um, two accessories. It's really comfortable to wear and the leather quality is second to none. Even with the outfit that I'm wearing right now with these gray uh, Giacomo trousers, I think that it looks perfect. Now, I think the return of the pencil skirt has to be one of my absolute favorite fashion trends for the season ahead. And here I'm styling the Musetta skirt a little bit more casually than I did it before. The knitwear adds a bit more of a relaxed essence to the overall look. I wanted to try out Cezanne's tights and here I'm wearing the mottled grey opaque tights to kind of tie with my knitted cashmere grey jumper. I may say these tights are pretty comfortable, amazing quality as usual. Another idea would be to take this skirt into an evening outfit and go with a black silk button down and silver accessories. My metallic ceiling bags and this thin belt with this silver detail will transform this office wear skirt into something appropriate for an evening event. All these different ways of styling each piece of clothing is just to give you an arsenal of outfit ideas that you can have in your back pocket and that you can reach whenever you need some inspiration. As always, if you enjoyed this video, I would very much appreciate if you would like it, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. On my channel, you will find lots of outfit ideas and styling tips. I really hope you've enjoyed watching all my Parisian style Cezanne favorite pieces. And most importantly, that this video has given you harmfuls of outfit ideas and inspiration of what to wear this season. It will be lovely to hear from you all. So leave a comment. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye. This is the Ralph jacket. This is the Felix uh, jumper and this is the Basile jumper in burgundy. So in my next video, I will be reviewing all these three pieces and styling together with the Paola and the Paola Babis in burgundy and style all of them with my other pieces in my wardrobe. So don't miss my next video and I'll see you there.